Jem is the first one of two children. I am a marketing and communications professional. I enjoy traveling, I enjoy reading, I enjoy spending time with friends, I enjoy watching TV. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, career education experience, I began, I went to school um, at Marion Preparatory School, that's for primary, and Loreto Convent Valley Road. Um, I then joined Moy Girls Nairobi, popularly known as CADS. Um, I also did IB, that's International Baccalaureate, at uh, Makini Academy that's immediately after high school I then joined USIU for my bachelor's um, in between during that time I also went to Osho College to study SCCA and I also studied CIM at Makini College Wow where do I start? I went to, I've worked, my background is in FMCG um, so and, and largely food. Coincidentally, my career has just been around food. Um, so I worked, my first, my first, my very first job was actually as a fundraiser, as a corporate fundraiser uh, for an agency. Um, and then after that, I worked for an international, a multinational uh, food and beverage company and then after that i worked for another multinational um, but this time in the baby category but still food and then currently um, i'm in the qsr industry qsr stands for quick service restaurants which is also a multinational um, yeah and that's it that's that's my career in general My big break actually began before my career. Yes. Um, I mentioned that I've studied ACCA yes. and that's not because I just wanted to pursue certification. It's because I thought I'd be an accountant. So my dad is an accountant and I'm actually very much like him. So I'm inclined in accounts and that's where my strengths are. And so I naturally thought that that's what I'd pursue as a career. But then when I, when I got into campus, I had the rare opportunity to, to, to work before I, I actually decided what my major was going to be. And that's because I volunteered for a leadership organization called ISEC. And during that time, I had the opportunity to apply for a finance position. And I actually was told no <laughs> i was told don't pursue that i don't think that that's where your strength is and i was told that i should rather apply for a marketing position and i'd never considered a marketing career ever and um but because i felt that this person understood my skill set i i took the advice and applied for the marketing um, position um and of course that was my big break because it completely changed my direction from finance and accounting which is what I thought I'd do into into marketing and communications which is exactly where I think I'm supposed to be um, yeah so that that was my big breakout today I have quite a number of career mentors um, yes and I also have people that I mentor I work for I volunteer for a number of platforms that um, do I want to call them platforms that allow young people just to understand themselves better and also to figure out what careers they want to get into so I volunteer for that and so in that in those platforms I have the opportunity to mentor a few people um, but also professionally I also have a couple of mentors some of whom I work with directly um, and others who I have met in my line of work and others who are also just even not in the career that I'm pursuing but either are excellent people that I think have achieved great things um, that I want to learn from or in areas that I would consider making a career move into. Let me just say that in general I think 
Um, the one thing I've learned even um, in my little time in the in the corporate world is we don't always people's careers haven't panned out how they imagine them to be. I think all of us thought we would be lawyers or doctors or CEOs, you know, so we'd imagined after this then I'll be marketing manager, then after this then I'll be. But I, for me, my career aspiration is to be the best in my field and to, to deliver recognizable achievements. Um, I would also want to actively be involved in helping others to understand uh, what they're able to achieve and also just to to be the best they can be based on my experiences um, and also just based on what I've learned so far. So currently I'm actually pursuing a, a coaching certification just to enable me be a better coach um, either for people that I work with or just people that I meet along the way that I mentor. I think for job seekers, I would say, I think there are different levels of job seekers. I'd say they're entry level job seekers, they're guys who are straight out of campus or even still in campus. I would say, um, for me, I was lucky because, as I said, I got the opportunity to figure out what I wanted to do even before I had gone to school, which most people don't. And that's why you find many people hate their jobs because you just assume because you have good grades, if you just pursue this degree, then you're going to excel. I know somebody who did IT because her dad told her that's where the money is. And I think that's such a big mistake. Um, so I would say don't try as much as possible to get practical work experience, even if it's for free, even if you're not being paid, um, just so that you understand your strengths um, and you understand even where your interests are, because you will be able to contribute significantly in an area of your strengths. Um, so th that's important. I'd also say don't be so focused on money, um, especially when you're beginning your career, because um, some of the best opportunities are not always where the money is for example when i was beginning my career i actually wanted to go into banking i i, I asked myself why i wanted to go into banking but i wanted to go into banking um, to begin my marketing career and one of my mentors at that time told me if you want to be a very good marketer you need to have fmcg training that's where the best marketers are born and so even though banking maybe the starting salary might be better than maybe fmcg but in terms of training and um, just understanding different facets of marketing that's where your growth will come from so for me that that made such a big difference because um, i began my career then in fmcg which i feel now if i wanted to go to banking i'd be able to add value even in that sector so the money will follow i know people say this a lot but it's true the money will follow and also because i think there are people who choose to stay home um, because they feel that the jobs that they're getting are not worth they, they are not representative of what their value is which is not true i think an employer would want to see that you have some experience even if it was volunteer experience than having no experience at all because you are waiting for something that pays you well um, so that that's what I'd say to the people who are beginning their their careers. Uh, I'd say for people who are already in their careers, be a bit discerning. Don't just take any job because it's there. I think sometimes when you get into the workplace, you become a bit desperate, and you you follow money again. I think you get a job opportunity and you you say to yourself i'm going to apply for it because it has a lot of money but your skill set is not suitable for it you don't even believe in the brand you don't believe in the culture of the organization and so when you get there you're very frustrated because you're not delivering at your optimum because you don't even believe in the product that you're selling and um, so i would say be discerning about your strengths again and choose jobs that complement where your strengths are but also um, seek mentors, seek people who are going to give you advice, um, especially in the fields that you want to go into, but also networking. I think some of the best 
breaks that I've gotten have been based on a referral. Tell people you're looking for a job. People don't like saying they're looking for a job. Um, but I find, um, especially these days, people, when they're looking for a particular skill set, they actually ask for referrals. So if you don't tell people you're looking, then how do people know yeah. that they can position you for that particular opportunity? So I'd say, especially when you're thinking of moving, just start telling people that I'm thinking of moving so that they can be able to tell you. Even if you don't move immediately, um, at least it will allow you to then be more discerning. I'd also say take platforms like LinkedIn very seriously yeah. um, mm -hmm. because for me, couple, some of the jobs that I've gotten, um, in fact, my current employer recruited me through LinkedIn and um, because they're not a Kenyan-based organization, they're based in South Africa and so it was a South African recruiter. And so those platforms are very important because they, they expose you to a bigger platform than opportunities you're already aware of. Because these days people don't just advertise in the newspaper, um, people also use online especially to recruit. Yeah, so that's what I'd say for people who are looking for jobs and areas. I'd also say um, don't just um, send your CV. <laughs> you know, people just send their CVs everywhere. I think it kills your brand as yeah. an individual because um, people just think you're desperate. Yeah. And, um, and I don't think employers want to hire desperate people. I don't think that's true. So be discerning about where you want to work. But also don't sell yourself. Um, don't look down on yourself. Take, take the risk and apply. Sometimes um, people don't apply for jobs they are qualified for because they think they're not ready for them. So try, just even go for the interview, um, test your skills in interviewing, uh, you may learn something new in that process, and even if you don't get the job, you may be considered for a different job. Yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm saying in regards to tips for interviewing.